Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Nagin Oliver, and uh, I'm here to talk to you for just a few minutes about how much AMD loves PyTorch. So um, with that, I'll get started. So AMD is traditionally known to be a semiconductor vendor that powers a lot of the devices that you use in your everyday life. You can see it's a pretty broad portfolio from the data center to the endpoint. Uh, the data center uh, ac accelerator group on the far left of the slide, we typically focus on GPUs that are powered by our Rockham open software. And um, the, to just this week, I think it was yesterday, AMD announced that we are adding Rockham support on some of our AMD Radeon GPUs as well. And fundamentally, what that's going to do is give early access to developers to uh, Rockham and to AMD GPUs that we haven't had previously. So if we dive a little bit deeper into the software platform that enables um, us to support AI frameworks like PyTorch. So I mentioned AMD loves PyTorch. It fundamentally builds on our commitment as a company to open source software, um, and that is what Rockham is founded on. We are a founding member of the PyTorch Foundation, so we've been working on it from the very beginning. And this deep collaboration has led to PyTorch 2.0, where we are fully upstreamed and have day zero support on all the latest features and functions. Uh, this is what allowed companies like Mosaic ML uh, to run their large language model training solution, in their words, you know, out of the box with zero code changes on AMD Instinct GPUs. So to drive us even further into this open ecosystem uh, for AI, I'd like to invite a special guest from AMD's latest acquisition. Uh, Stella Lorenzo, who's the VP of Engineering from Nod.ai. Hi, folks. So, full confession, um, I was not supposed to be up here today, um, but the speaker got COVID and the slide is empty. So, um, you know, just wanted to come. Uh, my, my goal in coming to the PyTorch conference was really just to thank the core devs for the, for the work they've done on 2.1. You know, we've had a great time integrating uh, Torch export and uh, Torch compile and the dynamic shape support and everything over, over the last bit. And it's, it's been really great to see all the compiler tech really come together. And you know, we're looking to, looking to leverage that as we move forward and bring AMD's uh, hardware portfolio together with a, with a more unified approach to the software. You know, we're gonna, we're, and, and connecting that up to the PyTorch users. So you know, taking it from the embedded, uh, embedded side to client, uh, Ryzen uh, data center um, instinct GPUs, and uh, really, really making the as one one of my colleagues said, make the AMD uh, chips sing sing for PyTorch, Pi and that's that's what we're excited to join you guys for. I think that's everything. So yeah. thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.